Welcome to myprojectbazaar.com Yeah, let us discuss about the millimeter wave van shape patch antenna for 5G design antenna at Windows SD Heights Yeah, now we did, uh, let us discuss about the microchip antennas basically consists of radiating patch on one side of dielectric substrate which has a ground plane on the other side so the patch is generally made of conducting materials such as a copper or ground so the patch is very thin so the different radiating patches may be square, rectangle, thin strip, circular, elliptical, triangle or any other configurations. So the radiating element and the field lines are usually photo etched on the dielectric substrate. So a microstrip patch antenna is a low profile antenna and has a number of advantages over than other antennas. So in this proposed work, uh, the researchers, the uh, mobile developer looking towards 5G generation. So still many issues needed to settle and investigate. So one of the main challenges of 5G generation related to antenna is designing high efficiency antenna with perfect gain. So the study looked at uh, designing bank shape antenna and investigate its efficiency regarding gain, directivity and bandwidth of the process. So here using a millimeter bank shape patch antenna will designing and uh, simulated using the HFSA software. Uh, already uh, that is a high frequency structure simulator software which is very suitable for the 5G mobile applications and multiple frequencies. So here we obtain a multiple frequency and also at uh, getting a 26 GHz of the antenna. So the simulated results regarding to S parameters that is a written loss, polar view that is a 3D radiation pattern and frequency band. So that is a start and stop band. So will be illustrated. So overall performance will be calculating by using the HFSS software. Yeah, let us discuss about the flow diagram of the HFSS process. So in HFSS there is a using a three dimension only that is X, Y, Z. So first of all generate a 3D structure. So 3D structure and then uh, get a solution type. In the solution type process, there are two solution types. One is a driven terminal, another one is a driven model. Again parametric model. So parametric model, whatever design it may be, we will design. So here we are using the bank shape design and uh, applying the boundaries so boundaries here we using the perfect t and perfect h perfect t for the electric field and perfect h for the magnetic field of the bias and then excitation so in the excitation process here we using a lump port or wave port here we using a wave port of the process and then analysis setup so analysis setup here we using the start and stop frequency particular frequency at 2 20 to 30 GHz like that and then finally getting the result of the structure that is a return loss uh, radiation pattern and then vswr uh, like that so these are the overall uh, flow diagram of the process and then the uh, patch of the antenna like that is uh, similar to the process of so generally patch consists of three layers substrate that is a middle layer patch that is a top layer and the ground that is a bottom layer so the substrate is sandwiched between the ground and patch and it forms a patch of dielectric medium so and then also here we using the second part of the antenna so again uh, the side view representing the layer of the antenna this is a micro strip feed antenna and then this is substrate and then finally in a ground plane of the antenna so these are the overall side view representing the layers of the antenna and then calculating the bank shape that is uh, easily to provide the so this, this is the bank shape antenna so this is the bank shape like that so double e so that is a double e layer of the bank shape this is a 200 mm and then 200 mm so this is the values it should be designed in the antenna of HSF process so this is the bank shape of the process of antenna so it would be calculated it would be calculated the result of the structure that is a return loss vswr and then our uh, radiation pattern of the antenna the other is a in, in case it, it is a uh, useful for 2d or 3d dimension in the past channel. so whatever it may be we will design the bank shape that is a process in 26 GHz or 22 30 GHz we getting the multiple frequency for the 5g wireless communication of the process so overall learning procedure that is mean uh, the overall flow diagram of the process yeah, let us discuss about the running procedure for the process. So, this is the HFSS window. Here we are using the van shape. So, this is the van shape of the 3D model. So, here we are using its axis, y axis, and z axis of the process. So, this is the 3D pattern of the antenna. So, van shape is must be calculating uh, two type of E. So, that is a uh, particular uh, amount of the process. So, here we are using the uh, three substrate materials one is a ferro a65 another one is a duride again another one is a silicon so compared to all these methods we calculating the results so in the boundaries we using a perfect t for uh, for patch and then ground so this is the perfect t for one and two and then radiation pattern so radiation pattern it should be predicted by using the 
uh, I mean uh, environment of the process and then excitation so he is using the excitation of the process he is using the wave port analysis and then analysis so in this setup he is using the solution frequency too so this is the center frequency of the process and then sweep so sweep means the start and stop frequency here we are using 1 2 and 10 jahats of the process and then again uh, calculating the results so uh, overall the process uh, it will be uh, it will be process of the uh, process and then validation check so design settings 3d model boundaries and excitation Mesa operation analysis setup up to metrics and radiation of the process so this is the running process so here i will click this running process it should be take uh, some time to execute the process of the design of the antenna so the van shape antenna it will be dimensional like that so this is the 3d view uh, here we using mini designing so by designing the antenna here we using the uh, square circle and then rectangle polygon like that so these are the 3d models uh, whatever it may be the design will be perfectly assumption by using the process so the design is must to calculating the process so this is a, uh, like this so this is a very nice to view that process So it takes some time to run up to computing the relaxes vector up to 60. So 60 count it will be displayed. So that's how the sweep. So whatever it may be the frequencies uh, uh, while calculating the easily to analysis. So this is the running procedure of the process. It should be up to 60. 60 count. Yeah. Now the 60 count is completed. Again the port dispersion. So that is up to 30 count. So 30 count the running procedure to solve all the analysis of the dimensions. So now it's take a uh, 24 up to 30. So overall the process up to 30 will be calculated the uh, running procedure for the product. And then the result will be calculated. The result will be calculated that is a radiation pattern, 3D polar plot and then return loss. So these are the results by calculating the those by calculating the man shape patch antenna. Uh, up to 30 it should be completed. Yes. So computation rate is magic, so up to 4 only, so it's easily done and also fast to achieve the process. 3 and then 4. Yeah. It's complete. So the seeding matrix is a final setup. So it's take up to 100. It's very fast to moving. Yeah, this is also completed. Now, normal completion server, it's very success. So this is a 3D radiation pattern. So this is a 3D radiation pattern of the antenna and then return loss so return loss you are using a multiple frequency so that is here we are using the ferro a65 so i will select a multiple frequencies on the antenna 22 30 jhz of the process and then 3d radiation pattern so this is a 3d radiation pattern of the antenna in the red denoted the gain how the values it will display so these are the overall running procedure for the process thank you for listening this video